Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. And first of all, happy Halloween to all those who are celebrating and in uh, honor of Halloween and the recent season premiere of The Walking Dead, we're doing another Walking Dead themed bracelet. This is the Negan and Lucille themed paracord bracelet. So it's a Cobra Knot bracelet with this really awesome uh, barbed wire effect created by some micro cord stitching. This one turned out really nice. Uh, I'm sure most of you Walking Dead fans have already watched the uh, premiere and now that we're all emotionally damaged and broken, let's make some paracord to feel better, right? So this one turned out really nice and um, it's not too hard. It looks a little complicated, but um, might be just a tad time consuming, but once you get the hang of it, it doesn't actually take that long, okay? So this is what we will be doing today and I hope you guys will like it and Remember guys, let me know what you think about this stuff in the comments, whether you like like it, don't like it. And also remember any um, materials that I use in the video, or this bracelet, um, you can find in my affiliate links down below, because every time you shop through those, you're helping this channel survive and go on. So that being said guys, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I got my paracord set up on my jig. We're doing knot and loop today, just because, you know, we don't always do knot and loop, we actually do buckles, but doing knot and loop, and of course, we're doing the color combo of black and red and all uh, necessary measurements will be placed here of course and uh, yeah we're just gonna get into it so um, nothing too special I, I like to start with the right side I don't know I always start with the right side so it's a habit of mine I guess because I'm right-handed but anyways uh, yeah we're gonna do the standard Cobra knots and I'm sure all of you can do this in, with your eyes closed now, but anyways, we're going for the uh, red core down the middle, black accent on the edges, so let's do that. I'm going to take the right of the core, black over that one, black through the other side, tighten that, and remember try to keep the melted end, melted section behind, okay. Okay, so we got that there. We're gonna leave our kind of half inch loop up top. Then we're just gonna continue, all right? So again, red over the core, black over top of that to the loop. There we go. <clears throat> so we are doing this for review, but anyways, you know how it goes with the Cobra Knot and uh, we're just gonna continue weaving, all right? So uh, make your way down your bracelet. Uh, when you get to the end, um, I think it's pretty safe to snip and singe the ends, um, but you can just leave them for now in case for whatever reason. Anyways, yeah, continue making your way down your bracelet. And then uh, when we're done this part, we will commence the stitching and the uh, barbed wire effect. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue doing this and we'll continue in the next step. Okay, so I'm done weaving my bracelet, and um, I'm gonna leave these um, excess paracord here for now. If you snip and cinch it, it's okay. I mean, or even if you're doing this on a pre-existing Cobra, it's okay. Uh, either way, it'll still work. But we're gonna now take our first piece of um, gray, or this is graphite microcord. Graphite's the name of the color. We're going to uh, take it on this side here, on the back side, and I'm going to go under we're gonna do this kind of similar to the stitched fishtail, but uh, let's go under this one here. We're just gonna anchor our uh, micro cord here. If you wanna go under the first four, careful not to pierce the paracord as I always do. Okay, so I went under first four there. You can do three or four, whatever is easier for you. Okay, so let's bring that out through here. And now, you're gonna pull the majority of it out. No, oh, be careful not to pull it all the way through. Luckily, there's a bit of a melted end on there, so it caught it right there. But don't pull it all the way through, obviously. Now, um, I'm gonna go 
under this, wait, sorry, through the loop here. I'm going to go under the first one. Okay, do that. Like so. so now we're going to kind of stitch this through the middle. I'm going to go over one, two, and then under one like this. Okay. Like that. So that's over two, under one. So now, again, we're going to go over these two and under one. You're going to do this all the way down the middle of your bracelet. It's okay if it's crooked. Um, that's the look we're going for. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So skip two. Go under one. Okay. So continue doing that down the length of your bracelet. Skipping two and going under one. And when we get to the end, we're actually going to have to do this twice. Okay. So I'm going to do this. And then uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side to anchor it. Okay. So when you get to the end, uh, go through the loop here. Bring it to the other side. And now you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to just, just going to anchor it um, on the very back. So because we went over this one, we'll have to go skip the first one and go under a couple of these. Let's do like three is enough. Okay, so push that through. Pull that through there. Okay, so that is that for this one. You can snip it there if you want. I'm just going to leave it for now. Might shorten the excess a bit. And then now, um, take your second piece of your graphite cord and you're going to do a uh, micro cord and you do the exact same thing. You're going to run it right next to this. Okay, so you're going to do a second strand because we want that two strands in the middle or two strands running through. And you're going to do the exact same thing. So like uh, start exactly as you did, um, you know, get it under the first four strands here, bring it out and just follow the exact same pattern and put the, um, the second cord right next to it. Okay. And just one quick tip I want to give you guys, uh, I kind of discovered this just by accident just now, but you see how uh, on this micro cord here, that end is kind of flattened out. Well, if you look on this one, the, I melted the micro cord, so it's just slightly kind of got a little mushroom cap there. It's mushroomed out. And what that can really help with is um, the paracord. It can help it from you know falling through or kind of um, getting pulled out because you've got this cap on the end. It'll get stuck, right? So this is not the end you attach the fid to. This is the you know, opposite end of that. And if you do that, that can pr kind of help anchor your uh, micro cord in there. So you might want to consider just taking a lighter to the end of the micro cord and putting a little um, kind of cap on the end there like that. And that will help a lot. Okay, so I've got the second cord ran through. So it's looking pretty good. And remember, um, this doesn't have to be straight. That adds to the effect of it. So now we're going to take uh, our third strand of micro cord. We're using a lot of micro cord this time around. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to feed my cord through here. Be careful not to um, hit the uh, previous three cords. Let's get this through here. That looks good. Push this through. Run your length through here. Okay, so we'll do that right there. So now for our details, where are we going to start? What's good? Let's start. So we're going to start. See how this knot here? It's uh, it's kind of closer to the top. We're going to start on this one. 
Okay, so we're going to go up through here. We're going to pull all our cord through here. Okay, so now for the main part, the easiest way to explain this is we're going to, we've got our cord coming up through here. We're going to wrap it around these two, um, these two cords. Let's, I think about four times will look good. Uh, wrap it around four times, then go through here. Okay. So the way we wrap it around is we're going to go under. Now these, um, these cord micro cords running down the middle will, um, they might loosen. So that's okay. Um, we can fix that after. So this is what I mean by wrapping it around. So we've got that around. See, we did that once. Now we're going to go on top of, or sorry, yeah, above it. We go again. So now, as you're going to see, this is, uh, it's going to be a little time consuming. But again, like most of our time consuming products or projects, it is worth it. Okay, so now, see that's one wrap. Now we're just going to go again. Sorry, this is the uh, second loop through. See the effect we're creating there. And then we're going to go again. It helps if the micro cord wouldn't tangle. See if this happens, just kind of manipulate it so it all stays in line. Come on, there we go. And that's what, three? And we'll do the last one, so it's four. Four loops around each section. So. There we go. So we got that four loops around there. And then now from there, sorry, I'm getting a little tangled off camera here. From there, you're going to go through this loop up top here. Okay. So you can go through this side. So you go from here to there. So let's pull this through. Okay, so that's one. Now you're just going to continue the pattern. We went from here. Now we're going to go to here. Okay, we're going to go through this one. And now that we're on the second section, now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to uh, wrap it around four times. And you're going to just make your way down your bracelet like that. Okay. So I wasn't joking when I said this is time consuming, but I think the end product is really nice. Okay. So I'm going to continue doing that. See what I'm doing. You can kind of manipulate the, uh, the direction of the, the barbed wire effect, depending on how much tension you put on it. Again, make sure. These do not get tangled. Okay. So yeah, continue doing that. Uh, make your way down. And then uh, when we get to the end, we will finish it off. Okay. And just to give you guys an extra tip or not really actually tip. I didn't, uh, this is kind of beautiful footage because I forgot to add this in the video. After I finished this second, uh, barbed wire accent, I went to from here to this side and then you continue do your loops around the, the middle and then you go to this side, right? So it's kind of just snaking from here to here to here 
you go at the back, come up here, do your uh, nodding, and then you come up, come out here. So it's kind of just snaking back and forth, right? I didn't think I clearly explained that in the video, so I just want to add this little part in. Okay, so I'm done adding my uh, my microcord accent. Didn't actually take that long. So now to finish, uh, we're gonna do the exact same thing pretty much. Um, I've got one chord going out here. We're gonna go through this last knot here, at the very end. Okay, we're gonna bring that out to this side. Like that. And then on this side, you're just going to, again, feed it under a couple of strands. Doesn't really matter which, how many, just do whatever you feel you need to do, okay? So I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna put under these three. Let's go with two, it's fine. We'll pull that through. Everything, I know everything's a bit of a mess right now, but it's okay. All right, so that is that. I'm going to snip and singe off all the excess. So that's these three chords here, and these two here. And I'm just gonna snip and singe that off too. And we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it, we are finished. All right, so I got all the excess snipped and singed off. Everything's looking good. As I mentioned before, um, if your center micro cords uh, come loose, you can just take your fid and kind of uh, pull them up and pull the slack all the way through out to the other side, if that happens. I didn't have any issue with that though, but uh, if it does you know, get a little too loose, you can do that. Just pull up with your fid and get all the uh, excess out to the other side. All right, so I think this one turned out really nice. And um, yeah, based off of the Walking Dead with Negan and uh, his mean bat Lucille, I think this one turned out perfect. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, any uh, tools and materials I use in this video, you can find in uh, the description down below. And uh, you can check those out through my affiliate links because every time you shop through them, you are supporting this channel greatly. Guys, I'll see you on the next one, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye. Thank you.